So. Oh yeah, I mean, Indy, Indy's getting up there, and there's 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 some big cities that are that are starting to move forward and and pay attention to these indie films, and and I think Louisville is is starting to step out of the dark and and uh, wanting to help people out with these indie films, and we've got a lot of great stuff here to film. You know, between Louisville, Lexington, Southern Indiana, we've got a lot of great places you can come and film these movies, and you got quality actors. We we put we put ads out for auditions and we had nearly a hundred people come out and audition for our movie. Wow! And that that was with you know that's big around here. Yes, you know, that is. You get you get a hundred people come out to audition and here's the thing, you would figure you know we were we were thinking twenty people show up you know, and out of those twenty five of them would be people that never did anything and and you know right. couldn't couldn't act like they were a human. <laughs> you know, we had close to a hundred people out there, and every one of them had a resume. They they had great acting skills, and and to that, with me, I'd rather have fifteen people out of twenty show up that were great instead of having to choose from seventy people that were fantastic. Exactly, you know? exactly. It was like, oh, it was just so hard. It made our job so hard narrowing this down. Well, were you all surprised that you had such a turnout for Dead Moon Rising when you all had the call for zombies? Were you surprised? Well, yeah, the, the call for zombies and Dead Moon Rising, that's huge. I mean, there was uh, over a thousand people there. I mean, that's that's fantastic. You just you don't yeah. see that. I mean, you, you really don't see it. And they say that was the biggest scene filmed, and, and you better believe it. That's a huge scene. And yeah. Down there in the middle of that was something to behold, you know. that That's crazy. You got bikers, and, and those weren't just, you know, those weren't actors. Those were... Bikers from rival gangs. Yeah, I know. I would have been there that day, but I was working. <laughs> they, you know, they don't like each other, and they sat there, and it was it was a great day, and and uh, everybody was cool. There was no tension. There's people running around dressed like zombies. There's people running around just like kung fu <laughs> masters, and and bikers and everything. And the, you know, that was the real deal. That wasn't 500 guys acting like bikers. That was. That was 500 bikers. You know? Yeah, that's something and, to be uh, said right there. Oh yeah, I mean, and that's you get you get around that, and, and it was it was just like any other day at the park. You know, the, everybody came out; they had a great time, and uh, it, it was a fantastic thing to see on film. I actually saw a write up about it in Courier Journal. I was uh, reading online since I'm in Florida now, but uh, I saw that you all got a lot of attention in the newspapers there, and uh, that was a great film. I, I saw it, like I said, at the film festival, and uh, that really got a lot of attention. It got my attention, everybody in the room. I know you all brought back some of the uh, original zombies from, uh, oh, help me remember, which was it uh, at the film festival? Oh, the, the zombies from uh, which movie were at this party? Was it Dawn of the Dead? Dawn of the Dead. Yeah. It's, yeah, yeah, Dawn of the Dead. Yeah. Yeah, we got to meet some of those guys at the Fight Night Film Festival. That was really cool. Yeah, that was really neat. I really enjoyed that. So, um, oh, yeah. how do you feel about all the attention that Feather Italian Films is getting lately? Is it's, it? I tell you, it's, it's, it's kind of, it, it's kind of odd, you know, we're, we're starting to get this attention and, uh, We've always knew we wanted it, and we always knew that we could do quality quality work. But when you start getting that attention, it's still kind of it's something you got to get used to. And I've I've always been you know the the center of attention in a room that I'm in. You know I don't have a problem being that. And uh, but you know this newfound attention we're getting is, is great, and I think it's uh, I think it's uh, it's hard work that's finally paying off because like I said, me and Jason met in, in 2000 and. We've just kind of been, you know, like squirrels storing up these scripts and, and ideas. And you you look, and we've got a, I've got a notebook. And one day I just sat down and and I wrote a hundred beginnings to short films. Wow! In case we needed to use them in a in, in a short film competition or something right. like that, I said, you know, these are just ideas of a story. Here's here's what I just wrote three or four pages full of them and. We've just worked on ideas of scripts, and a lot of our stuff comes from that 48-hour film. I was and uh, that's something that I'm really glad we did first because it kind of taught us how to, to shoot on the run and, right. and act on the fly. And uh, I think improv when you see the legacy, there's uh, a huge percent of the film is improv is is going to be things that were that happened for real. There, I mean, there's right. there's, there's a 
there's a funny little scene, and I'll break it. Jason will probably be mad at me right now. <laughs> but we're, there's this character sitting around a campfire, and, uh, you know, Jason jumps out to scare him. Well, I don't really think we told him what we were going to do. So there's somebody telling the story, and Jason jumps out. Well, this girl jumps so bad that she actually does fall out of her chair. <laughs> and we just so happen to be have the camera on her at that time so that's a real funny reaction that you you don't get naturally if you don't do it naturally you know you just don't get that she falls clean out of the chair and starts rolling down the hill you know <laughs> and that's gonna be something you'll see i mean it's a lot of improv and yeah we really think that that helps with the actors we we, we like to start actors first you know we're, we're definitely actor-friendly directors. Uh, we want you to have a good time. We want you to have some food and, you know. Uh, oh, that's always great when you feed the actors. Yeah. yeah <laughs> I've been to too they many where they don't food. feed you. <laughs> so you all actually won Best Editing at a 48-hour film festival, right? Oh, yeah. Uh, best edi- Editing uh, for the film DTA. And uh, once again, it was a 48-hour film. And... Uh, we we made that start to finish in 20 hours. Wow. Uh, because Jason had to actually, he was, he's got one of the major roles in the movie Hellophone, uh, George Benilla. Yeah. Here in Lexington. And he had to be there Saturday at like 11 o'clock in the morning, I think. And huh. so we started Friday night at 9 o'clock. We filmed until, I think, uh, 6 o'clock in the morning. We, we wrote it, filmed it till 6 o'clock in the morning, and uh, he edited it in a few hours, and we were done because he had to get up there <laughs> to be in George's movie. So yeah. it was another sleepless weekend, and, you know, that's all Jason. Jason does that editing. I can barely check my email on a computer. So <laughs> oh, Jason is no. definitely, yeah, he's, he's the editing machine, and he, uh, he, he does a great job. And doing these short films and doing them where you have to do them so fast, has really sharpened his skills, and I mean, he's all self-taught. Uh, I don't know. I don't know how he does it. I just get in there. I, I'm basically the idea guy. I give him some ideas. He writes a script, and we do it, and yeah, I'll throw some funny lines in there somewhere. And <laughs> he, he gets in there like a machine, and he. I think he actually painted his windows black and uh, just edited for about 30 straight hours. You know, <laughs> he did, didn't know if it was night or day. I bought him a nice new coffee machine for <laughs> for Christmas and I got him some no-dos and I just locked him in his apartment broke the key off in the door so he couldn't get out and you know he, he just goes to town lived on Raymond noodles and uh, some Red Bull huh oh yeah well he's got a uh, you know one of the other stars of our movie Ronnie Jonah and uh she she makes the best cookies you've ever had and <laughs> you, you can actually see body on our set that's that's the main staple of that and so Jason is he lives on a steady diet of Red Bull and Ronnie's cookies. Cookies. So, <laughs> it's, it's great. I, I think that's going to be one of the packages we offer for our sponsors is, is going to be, you know, a <laughs> box of Ronnie's cookies for fifty for, for $50 sponsor. <laughs> <laughs> that's great. Sugar and caffeine, two needed things for a film. Oh, well, you better believe it. <laughs> So why don't you give us uh, the websites? I know you can go. You said you can go to YouTube and uh, look for Feathered Italian Films, and then you can find the Hell House trailer, right? Yes. Yeah. Well, you can you can find the Hell House, uh, the original Hell House uh, film we filmed for the Forty Eight Hour Contest. That's on there. We don't have a trailer for Hell House yet. Uh, We do have a trailer for the Legacy coming soon. Right. So uh, be you know start looking for that uh, in the next you know week or so. And uh, we'll get that out there. But like I say, go to YouTube and look up Feathered Italian Films. If you want to get a hold of us, uh, we actually have an email. It's uh, f-i-films at hotmail.com. Okay. And uh, that's another thing. We're looking for bands. Uh, If you've got a song you think will fit in, to uh, the Hell House or Legacy, we we still got room for a couple songs on the on oh, the Legacy. Did. Okay, uh, we're looking for those bands out there. I know you got a you know wide wide array of bands that listen to your show and oh, everything. Yeah. So you know, fix us up with them and we'll work and we'll get you out there. So you all still need more music for the Legacy. And I saw on your MySpace, the Legacy MySpace page, that you actually had a winner. Uh, do you pronounce that, Mister? 